file your company? Yes, uh, our company is basically it's a group uh, group of companies, and there are different branches uh, for in that group. It includes the fire and safety company. It includes the facility management company. It includes the recycling company. It includes the construction company. So it's a group of uh, companies, six to seven different companies. But I am basically in the field of fire and safety and in construction mostly. Okay, yeah. right now. So which location your company? We are in Jidda. We are in Jidda, sir. Okay, okay. You are in Jidda. Yeah. So basically, yeah. on your position, on your uh, on your work, which uh, as an engineer, supervisor, as a technician. Uh, uh, yeah, as a uh, yeah, as a maintenance engineer, I am working. Okay, for the firefighting. Yeah. For the firefighting, but right now I have also been diverted towards. I have given an extra task in the HVAC field, mm -hmm. so I'm also looking over that thing. Yeah. Yes, it is very important. Like the package and units. And, yeah. Yes, yes, right. So definitely, you will uh, learn all about the package units and uh, chillers and uh, VRV and VRF systems, yes. all kind of cooling yes, equipment, sure. college stores. So definitely short term, I will give you the training one to one everything so you can be finish your uh, training. So definitely in the uh, because of the 50% you already know about the because you are already blocked from the firefighting and you know about the which kind mm. of which system you are using on the project. So you have mm. to just uh, need to learn about the technology of HVs in the air conditioner mm. system. Definitely. Exactly. Yes, uh, so your qualification uh, about the you are bachelor's yeah. bachelor's in mechanical engineering, right? So definitely it is a good for mm -hmm. you, and this is a yes. necessary for you. So definitely in the mm -hmm. future is is uh, better than uh, firefighting in the HVAC. Yes, sir. so the industry is getting expanded and like that. Yes, yeah, yes, you're right. yes. Uh, because climate is going to change, and uh, every you know mm. new construction they are required for the HVC system. Almost uh, hundred yes. percent the new project are they are required for the air conditioner system and HVC system. Mm. And also you have good opportunity with your companies because you are already included with the groups of companies. Then you are upgrade your yes. profile, so definitely you can get the new promotions, new jobs, new responsibilities. Yes, so sir. right. There. Yes, right. Okay, so basically, I will study your classes from the beginning, from the starting from the. Yes. Um, I mean to say about the technology of air conditioner and cooling equipment systems. So first, we have to know the what kind of uh, units we are use in the for the purpose of cooling and heating. Because air conditioner is a condition the air for the surface area for the air conditioner and the cooling equipment. Mm -hmm. Both of uh, is the technology for the air conditioner or refrigeration system. They are produce the cooling. And if we are need uh, uh, somewhere according to our required, like a uh, in our bedroom or offices, we are need a small kind of uh, uh, refrigerant, a small capacity cooling coil, like uh, designing is something, something is the capacity of uh, air conditioner is small. But in the if we are need for the commercial purpose for the hotels like hospitals, big project, then we are need the central plant of air conditioner system, big capacity system. But for the domestic, we can use this split AC, window AC, uh, package AC like that. So how is it work? And what's the principle for the produce the cooling? Then we have understand first, then we can be understand one to one everything, the components of all kind of air conditioner uh, units and how they are work and how we can be repair and maintenance and installations, everything the uh, map reading for the HVAC project and for the installation for because in the Zeda there is also is all the commercial project is ongoing there. So we are we are system also is installed there. Yeah, yeah, the, it has been started now from last two years. Okay. There are many companies who are working on this system. Mm -hmm. That's why I was too much interested to learn about this system. Yes, very good. So I will, according to your, you know, the VRV and VRF system and HVAC in the package and chillers and everything is important. You know, important is everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, most important is the VRV and VRF for you because your position is already you are engineer in the, uh, your company. So if you are uh, move forward for the new work and for the new position, 
new responsibilities so how you can explain to your company according to your uh, uh, new position so you can say i am hvc i am hvc engineer and we are we are a specialist so they can say how you can explain how what kind of work you can have done on your project if you are taking any responsibilities so that time you can explain one to one so what you have to explain i can teach you one to one about the installation to end of the commissioning and uh, all about the vrb and we are up to most company systems all brand all brands so first i have some questions so i can ask you so i can be um, satisfy you what you are uh, what you, you know about the air conditioner system how is it to produce the cooling what's the principle of uh, about the refrigeration cycle how is it work you know in the you are already in mechanical engineering uh, yeah yeah of course uh, we work in four it works in four different cycles starting from compressor to condenser to evaporator to the expansion wall mm -hmm. so it's uh, an refrigeration cycle i already have knowledge but uh, uh in chillers you have two different types you have air cooled and uh, you also have water cooled in siplet you have normal and you also have the inverter type and uh, mm -hmm. also you have these days duct splits are very common if the unit is more or uh, capacity is up to four tons this is what we are using in middle east mm -hmm. so uh, yani, uh, in maintenance i have almost all this knowledge of uh, refrigeration Yes, so now I have clear about your uh, knowledge about the air conditioning system. So definitely your knowledge is perfect for the learning. We can start directly from... Yeah, we uh, can start. You can start yes, directly. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, I understand now your experience is good in for the... Also, you have good knowledge. Yeah, yeah. With air uh, yeah, no need to go to the basics. I already have Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. So first yes. of all, we have to understand about the HVAC project. In the HVAC project, then we are go any project to start first. What we have to do first, we have to study the project. You know the project, yeah. Yes. So about the project map reading for the HVAC, you have complete knowledge already. You know you can also read for the HVAC. Yes, system. about. Uh, yes. Yeah, like for example, you mean in ducting, we use different air devices like um, your diffusers, registers, grills, VAVs, mm -hmm. all this, and uh, sometimes duct heaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I know all about all these. Yeah, so you can read the maps. You can, yeah, read because the... uh, when I started my career, I started as you know, like all engineers, as a site engineer. So mm -hmm. I have uh, pretty much uh, experience about that as well. Okay, so you can uh, measurement uh, about the uh, where installed there or uh, in all kind of over chillers line, like a uh, refrigerator line, indoor unit installation outdoor installations uh, all about the how we can be measured uh, uh, you have good knowledge the standards no the standards i don't have the knowledge of that but i can read the drawings where is the um, for example where are the pipes locations where they are going okay, where okay. we have to use an yes. elbow or reducer or these things this is what i can read oh, yeah okay. but on from designing perspective uh, i am a little bit weak in that okay yeah. no problem so no need for that yeah. only you can be mm -hmm. just seen on your drawing where is the exactly your location for the uh, areas for the title for the project and layout for the project and you scale for the project then you can find out the where is the your uh, system is uh, going to be installed so that definitely you can do so it is okay also for no problem so then we are going to start uh, uh, any vrv and vr project so vrv and vr project is the new concept around the world because the world latest technology in the hvac sector so we have to understand first the uh, the principle of the uh, installations and uh, start the units because this is a difference between the uh, traditional mm -hmm. because the traditional yes. air conditioner system is not like the vrv and vrf system vrv vrf system is the different from the uh, traditional chillers like a package like that so vrv and vrf system all branded around the world 35 plus companies they are manufacture vrv and vrf project vrv is a mm -hmm. Uh, patent by Deccan company is the uh, only for the Deccan company is patented by the Deccan company but the uh, VRF is the common name so all companies can be used so 35 mm -hmm. plus companies they are manufactured VRF system the same same principle of the uh, represent pipings and vibrance connections 
and uh, distribution of uh, refrigerant pipings uh, the common common principle between the vrv and vrf system but in the vrv and vrf system we have um, five kind of series five kind of series available in the vrv and vrf system so in this mm -hmm. case then we are go for the uh, project new project installation then we have to be know first the which kind of series going to installation there and uh, which brand and uh, which series and you know i will uh, just introduce you now because uh, step to step uh, we will learn in the next time but just introduction right now so you can be understand what we are going to be uh, learning in this training program because of that the, this is a study right now so we have to understand first the vrv and vrf system why we are used first you know all around the world this is a latest technology and electricity consumption and installation areas everything is a perfect for the vrf system so adopt all world and new construction project for the this technology this is a common okay i don't want to go there because this is a, everybody know about why we are used vrv and vrf system but the purpose of vrv and vrf we have different kind of series like a cool mood you know cool mood and heat pump and heat and cool mood mm -hmm. and heat recovery system mm -hmm. first only for the cool mood mm -hmm. and you know in the south african countries and our uh, countries there is a uh, no need for the heating system they are need only cool yes like a, only cooling system yeah okay but somewhere like a um mauritius there is like in the like, yes yeah. yes sometime uh, is the temperature uh, uh, up and down so like uh, turkey and kazakhstan and mostly the countries there is sometimes this need the heat and cool both of okay hmm. but heat pump only required there is a, somewhere is a, you know in the european countries there is a temperature hmm. is always down like a, uh, hmm. minus uh, 5 10 sometimes is 20 and sometimes is a plus 5 so there is already is too cool so they are need mm. only heating so heat pump we can use there so uk mm. and uh, you, you know in the european countries most of companies uh, most of countries there is uh, only installation heat pump canada you know the canada norway sweden switzerland mm. and um, mm. many more countries there so there is temperature is uh, already is low. So according to climate around the world, we are use a cold VRV and VRF system according to our weather, according to our climate. So according, uh, you know, in the uh, Gulf countries, we need a cool system. Okay. But in the hotels, hmm. in the heat recovery system, they are used because of that heat recovery in the once time produce heating and cooling both of in the once time. So heat recovery they are used so because uh, there is no need to uh, uh, much investment for the heating system there. I will explain the yeah. how is it work, but just we are into the yeah. introduced. So heat pump especially we are uh, the technology of installation, uh, technology and uh, the process of installation is a common just like in the cool mood heat pump and heat and cool and heat recovery. The installation process is common, not uh, much difference between each other but then we are go for the uh, maintenance like a error code resolving like a settings push button settings commissioning test operation mm. everything is different between the each other mm. whole series suppose in the deccan company deccan company we have um, uh, we are v3 we are v4 we are vx okay different series so these different. are the models Yes, this is a this is not a model. This is a series. Models is a different series of data. Okay, series. So we have three. We are v three. We are v four. We are v x. The error code is different between the we are v three and we are v four and we are v x. Error code is uh, different, and also the mm -hmm. setting for that. Then we are go for the test operation. Then we are start after the installation. Then we are start any units then uh, set the settings in the units so it is also is different we are v3 is different we are v4 is different we are vx is different and like lg mitsubishi samsung itachi blue star trend green whatever around the world the settings all is different between the all companies okay and error code also is different so we have to learn 
how we can go suppose you are a commissioning engineer okay you are a, we are we are a commissioning engineer okay i will certify to you for the hvac and we are we are a commissioning engineer then you are go for the commissioning you have to be knowledge what i have to do for the setting for the yeah according to your job profile which kind of responsibilities you have so what you have to go on your project and you have to be uh, complete there and how, which kind of records which kind of work reports everything how you can be make there so i will give you one to one all trainings about that but basics we have to know first the cool mode heat pump and heat and cool okay and heat mm -hmm. recovery system so around the world mm -hmm. according to required the all uh, all product are uh, used so then we are start any project then we are go for the installation as an engineer you have to understand the drawing for the vrv and vrf system how is it going to be installed and uh, which company brand product is going to install there and uh, already you know the read about that drawing but especially for the uh, vrv and vrf we have some drawing different especially the master drying is common we can find out there there is a outdoor there is a indoor there is a refrigerant piping there is a ducting there is a tube or fcu everything we can understand better no problem but then we are go for the installation of outdoor unit and refrigerant pipings and wire branch connections and uh, distributor box and uh, like uh, everything then we are be installed then we have different kind of uh, uh, wiring diagram and also for the wire branch diagram and indoor outdoor selections and uh, piping selections we have different drawings so i have mm. some uh, samples for the drawings so i will send you so you can read so you easily you can understand and if you have any